Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I am Coach Kenny and I am coming in live from, ayan po, ay dito po, a logo, Decaf Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches here in the Philippines. We are a 24 by 7 coaching hub offering coaching on demand services any time of the day. So presently, because of the community quarantine, our operation is primarily by via online and you can reach us through 0917-586-1661 and together with me is my co-host si master yes. coach Hasmin. yes so i'm co-hosting with coach candy for the part four of coach connect so pang 16 who of the hour na natin for this time so we are doing this video ton as a community service to our change agent in the tribe whom we are called to serve first and foremost so presently um the cup operation is limited to take out and delivery service only but mm -hmm. online coaching is a non-stop and we continue to reach out to everyone starting with the life coaches certified by the global institute for coaches and entrepreneurs so today ang who of the hour po natin is no other than our beloved diba om of the, of, of dcap kilalang kilala natin siya so bago pa tayo nakapasok sa dcap at saka nakapasok sa life coaching this co uh, coach this coach is the one who is, has been reaching us out, diba? So, ipakilala natin at yes. ipapakilala niya ang kanyang sarili. No other than Coach Rizel. Rizel! Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Coach Rizel. So, this is not something new for you. Kasi ilang mm -hmm. araw mo na itong ginagawa. But this time, eh, ikaw yung i-interviewin namin. So, yes. hindi ikaw yung interview So, would you like to introduce yourself? to our viewers. Oh, oh. Sige. Thank you, Master Coach Hasmin. At uh, nakaka-excite pala, no? Kung ikaw yung <laughs> andito. <laughs> uh, medyo feel na feel mo. Ganon. So, magandang hapon. Nah, yun. So, magandang hapon to our fellow coaches and to the people who are watching right now. Magandang hapon. So, again, my name is Coach Rizel. I am the operations manager of the Cup Coffee Republic. And I am also the very, what, passionate, no? Taga-answer <laughs> ng mga inquiries nyo <laughs> sa Life Coach Philippines. At kung anong-anong mga tanong na meron kayo, um, ako po yung uh, taga-sagot. Taga so, aside from that, I am also a certified Life Coach of the Global Institute of Life Coaches and Entrepreneur. Of Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs. Right. At the same time, uh, one of the apprentices then a master coach. Eh. Yes. Oh, so, uh, so, so I'm also one of the apprentices ni master coach. Eh. Tama. So who of the hour, coach? So describe what is your present situation right now there in in Pasig, diba? So, nandyan ka sa Pasig area. So, how is it? And how is it inside DCAP also? Yes. <laughs> sa loob mm, at sa labas okay. DCAP, how is it? Oo. So, yung sa labas ng DCAP, yung papunta sa kung saan ako nakatira. So, mga malayo yun, mga five minutes walk. <laughs> so, ano? Ang <laughs> layo ko. Oo. So, um, <laughs> sobrang layo. <laughs> Oo nga, diba? So, from DCAP to where I am staying, um, it's very peaceful. Uh, meaning to say, walang masyadong tao, walang masyadong sasakyan. So, maybe iba't iba kasi yung oras ng paglabas ko, no? Yung paglabas ko ng DCAP, tamang-tama lang din, no? Walang tao at walang sasakyan. So, mm -hmm. right now, um, very peaceful yung community. Yun yung una. Um, kung may nakikita man akong maraming tao yung mga naka-line up dito sa my grocery store no yes. um, inside uh, PC compound uh, before ako makarating sa DCAP so dadaanan ko yun or makikita ko yun yun lang yung may pinakamaraming tao and then pag akit ko sa DCAP or inside DCAP um, it's even more peaceful <laughs> <laughs> diba ako? Um, dito sa DCAP ngayon, since isa lang yung focus, it's mm -hmm. really uh, bringing out uh, the light, the hope, uh, the love, 
um, ano pa, um, the healing, no? Healing. Everything that is beautiful and everything that is out of love. Kasi even the people that are committing to be here, so uh, yung strategy din, um, paisa-isa yung dating na, paisa-isa, pero um, compared sa lawak ng decap, no? Uh, para kang nasa iba't ibang lugar din. <laughs> Kasi habang ginagawa yung video to, um, hindi din kayo nagkikita. No? Kasi kanya-kanyang area din. So, here in this place, um, right now, I can only describe that it's peaceful, it's beautiful, and it is in the right ano, space to really give mm what is needed and because of the people that are also coming in here and the hearts of the people who are really sacrificing and uh, seeding their time and seeding that time is coming from the heart mm -hmm. that loves no not just um yung mga sarili nila which is all of us are really being encouraged to where we should start loving ourselves but um, along with that loving it really overflows seeing them come come here um day in day out mm -hmm. and uh, holding the rope or uh, tumutulong no sa pagsuporta uh, ng mga fellow coaches din natin at dun sa mga taong nangangailangan ng encouragement ng coaching ng hope mm -hmm. at this very time so that's the picture of the Cup Coffee Republic right now. Yeah. So, sabi ni Master Coach A, hashtag bless. Bless. Oh. Pinapanood ka ni Master Coach A ngayon. So, just to correct pala, nam episode 17 na tayo of yes. our 24, uh, 24 hours episode 4. Ayan. Bilis, no? So, um, ang bilis ng oras. So, akala natin is hmm. medyo mahaba-haba ang 24. Pero kapag may mga ganito tayong moment is napakabilis lang ng 24 hours. So, Coach Giselle, so, yes, you are the OM right now. You are a life coach. You are an apprentice, di ba? Pero, how are you responding personally bilang si Coach Giselle? So, if you open your heart, so, how is your heart responding mm -hmm. to what is happening now? Mm -hmm. Yung mga pagbabago ito at saka yung situation. Uh -oh. So, I just want to say hi to Master Coach A, Chairman of the Board. <laughs> Magpugay pugay kamay tayo. Hello po. Yun. Um, so, as as Coach Rizel or as a person, uh, going through all this sudden, um, tawag na, tinatawag ko itong the suddenly, no? Yung part ng mga mm -hmm. suddenly sa buhay ng isang tao. Suddenly. Mm -hmm. yung, yung hindi mo inaasahan, tapos yun na pala siya. Yeah. So, um, it's, 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 sa pananaw ko, or paano ko siya tinignan, um, it calls out to see the kind of heart that I have still towards uh, the purpose of my existence na so may ganun, the purpose of my existence mm -hmm. or yung calling na na meron ako kasi nung like for example nung nag say yes ako kay kay Bika and then lahat na nangyari um yung yung being able to witness no yung privilege na meron ako na meron ako, na sometimes hindi ko mafatom yung, yung, oh my gosh, <laughs> kaya ko to. <laughs> Parang, bigla lang, bigla lang nagka-moment ako na. So, yung, yung, yeah. yung gratitude. Okay. Yung, yung naramdaman kong, sabi ko nga parating na hindi ko, ano, parabang, I could be part of, 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 of the majority no na nararamdaman ngayon but mm -hmm. hindi ganoon yung story ko eh parang yung yung maging parte ka na ma-witness kaya ko to guys no yung maging parte ka na ma-witness oh. yung 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 makita yung mga puso mm -hmm. ng mga tao yeah. na very courageous very inspiring 
And especially makita yung puso ni Master Coach eh. Yes. How it just moved me so much. How she would really stand strong, yet strong at the same time very compassionate. At the same time, mas lalong nagliliwanag yung pananaw niya. And mat mabigyan ka lang ng liwanag na yun. And then all the all the all my fellow coaches who are coming in and out of Decap Coffee Republic, um, here in Decap or uh, online, tapos makikita mo yung pag-rise up nila. Um, yung privilege yung yun. Nabuti na lang nag-yes ako years ago. Alam mo yung ganun, Master Coach? Buti na lang, years ago, isip ko lang naman, Nina, ano na, um, simple lang talaga yung pangarap eh. Alam mo yun, yung gusto mo lang namang maging, maging missionary. Tapos, you quit your corporate job and every comfort that comes along with it. Then, Kasi nga gusto mo yun. Gusto mong maging misyonaryo, gusto mong tumulong. Um, masaya. Very exciting. Yung excited yung, yung pagta-transition. And, and looking back, as I'm sitting right here with your question, Master Coach, bilang Coach Rize, um, kung titignan ko siya, naku, buti na lang nag-yes ako nung time na yun. Kasi kung hindi ako nag-yes, what life could have been? And and see and being a witness no being a witness of how the coaches are responding how master coach a is responding and and listening to master coach lakendra kaninang madaling araw oh my gosh um parte ako ng mga taong lumalaban para sa mga purpose na meron sila parte ako doon sa tribe na hindi Although may COVID-19 at may mm -hmm. ganito ka strong na 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 anong tawag dito na pangyayari. Yeah. Um nakikita ko yung paano nag-rise up yung mga puso ng bawat isa to move forward and to hold on together and to declare that one thing that there is hope that you are called for such a time like this because you need to rise up to the very calling that has been entrusted to you. And it is such a beautiful thing, Master Coach, to see. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's a profound um, experience to see the hearts of the people and especially the change agents that are responding right now. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a reminder of the very design or how people are created in the first place by God. Yeah, tama, Coach. So, I really, really yeah. feel your heart. So, bilang ako nung sa Sunday, the whole day also, uh, yeah. having interviewed mga life uh, coaches, ano, or mga change agent natin. So, talagang nag overflow di ba? So, we've never seen, um, di, na, di man natin sila parati nakikita o naririnig, di ba? Pero, mm. when you hear them, uh, talking about their experience and how they view what is happening. So, talagang nakaka-bless. So, yeah, I understand your tears, Coach. Ayan, sabi nga ni Coach, yeah. um, ni Coach, Coach A is hashtag bless. And sabi yes. ni <laughs> niba Sabi oh, ni oh. love you, Ate Riz. Miss you agad-agad. Oh, Namiss ka na niya mm -hmm. kaagad, Coach. Ano. So, Gusto ko nga, ano eh, mag-comment <laughs> sana, ano. Ako thank din, you for everything that you do, OM, pero oh, host tayo eh. Kaya nga, gusto ko din humashtag sana eh. But oh, anyway, Coach. So, kanina yung mention, di ba? Sabi mo, so, what could have life been if you did not say yes? So, ano nga ba talagang itsura sana nung life na yun kung hindi ka nag-yes? Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm. I think I would be so passive okay. that I would not feel my heart anymore. I would just be going through life, um, not minding how beautiful life could have been. Mm -hmm. No, so ang pinaka challenge sa tingin ko is yung makarating ka sa point of um, 
yung pagiging passive or not being mindful, yung mm. nangyayari na to sa paligid mo o nangyayari na sa mga tao, pero wala kang nararamdaman. You're just like, alam mo naman yung mga nangyayari, but when you get to that phase of being so detached, being so passive, na, okay, I, I'm in good, yet, you're not feeling life anymore. So like, tinatawag natin yan, no, kung medyo pag-iisipan mo ng matino, um, when you get to that phase of spiritual death, yung you are alive but you feel nothing about life, um, yung iba, hashtag zombie kind of feeling. Mm-mm. So, kasi na, sa tingin ko, nakakarating ka doon sa level na yun. Um, although everything is a process naman eh. It is a journey. Pero yun, um, if hindi ako nag-yes that time, and, and hold on to what I feel God was uh, saying at that time, um, yun yung nangyayari sa aking master coach eh. Yung bang nakakarating ka sa point na dahil hindi mo ginawa yung part mo, hindi mo ginawa yung purpose mo, dahil nag-shy away ka sa, sa comfort, or dahil there's so much fear at yun na yung nangibabaw, um, yun yung mararating ng spirit mo. Eh. There will be a spiritual death that is so strong that you will just feel the numbness and, and with that, yung resulta pagiging passive mo sa paligid, sa mga tao. Yun. So, buti na lang. Diba? Buti na lang. Um, with the grace of God and yung strength na binigay to say yes. And, and it was so, ano eh, yung time na yun eh, yung, yung transition na yun ng buhay ko. There was so much excitement. It was never a burden to say yes to God. Although yes. there was too many challenges during that time as well because people cannot understand your decision. And mm. there, there was like too, too many relationships that I lost in saying yeah. yes. But um, by the end of the day, God... God is faithful. Um, God was, I mean, God is able to to draw his point, no? That by the end of the day, it's really about what you are called to do, the reason of your existence, the purpose na dapat nang gawin, and you can do that um, by moment's decision, eh. Parang, para tingin lang sinasabi, is it like more of, you know, one day nagising ka, Gag- gagawin mo na lang, feel na feel mo yung gawin. Um, hindi rin eh. It's like um, every, a moment by moment decision to really push through with what your heart is saying which I believe is coming from God. Um, so yun, Master Coach, um, that could, yun yung picture na buhay kung hindi ako nag-yes. So buti na lang, yeah. you so know, we, my gracia and joy. Yes, so yeah. it was, yeah, it was a joyful moment by then. Again, it was never a burden. Say yes to your calling. Um, hindi siya ganun ka-smooth, but there will always be a feeling of joy in your heart when you will choose to respond to the reason of your existence. Ah, hashtag reason of your existence. <laughs> Ay, ganun talaga. Ayan po. Ayan, may nakuha si Coach Sheila sa'yo. Bumabati sa'yo si Coach Sheila and may nakuha siya doon sa yung message. She said, mindfulness rather than being passive. So, that's what mm-hmm. yung na-learn niya sa'yo. Ay, Coach Sheila. Ayan, may nakuha niya mensahe sa'yo. So, Hi, Coach Sheila. So, Coach Candy, any question po for our mm-hmm. Coach Rizel? So, Coach Rizel, um, kasi I understand, di ba, doon sa journey mo ng three years, meron doong, meron doong part na hindi ka life coach, then merong nag-transition ka now, ngayon, as a life coach. So, ano yung pinaka-differentiating factor nung na- nang nakita mo ngayon na you are able to respond to things, handle things, manage oh, yeah. things because you are a life coach. Mm. Um, we, Pagka na yun, ano? So, ano ang year ka life coach? Life coach? Mm-hmm. That was... 2018? Oh, wait lang. 
um, a year and a half ago yun eh. So, June 2018. Yeah. I yep. think June Galing. of... So, may difference nga yung OM na life coach at saka yung OM yes. na life coach. Oo. Yun. To answer Coach Candy's question, um, the difference would be understanding myself better. Um, dati kasi, you respond to things without really understanding so much of, <laughs> of why you say certain things or why you do certain things. So it's more of a combination of so many things other than the understanding of who you are or kung sino ka as a person. So being a life coach, it gives you that um, para bang flat experience or more of encounter of allowing mm -hmm. yourself to be understood by yourself. So ang, ang nangyayari kasi ngayon yung, yung disconnection between between yung mga sinasabi mo, ginagawa mo, uh, sometimes ang tanong din doon kung nagagaling ba talaga yun sa, sa puso mo o naiintindihan mo ba talaga bakit ginagawa mo o sinasabi mo itong bagay nito. Pero ngayon, as a life coach, um, you are more in tune, no? Meron kang uh, process that allows you to be in tune with your heart, with your mind, mm -hmm. and then when you do certain things, now you can understand either it's coming from uh, the past experience, or is it really the now experience? So, um, there's so much, I know, understanding to who you are, and there's so much avenue for uh, vulnerability and being able to manage yourself in the light of, because finally, you are understanding who you are. Ayun. Ang ganda na na, no? So, understanding ganda. yourself as you understand others. Ayun, oh, ang galing. May so, basahin no? lang natin yung comment ni Coach Marife. Yep, mm -hmm. there's an alignment. Yeah. Sabi ni Coach Marife, your calling is your design. Fulfillment comes when you're able to do your calling. It gives peace, joy, in the inspire of. Ayan. Oh. Coach oh, is inspire or inspire. Oh, Nakagip oh, mo oh, oh. ni Coach Marife. Mm -mm. Uh -oh, tama, tama, siya. Tama, I agree. Oh, right. <laughs> I agree, Coach, Coach Marife. Ano, um, uh -oh. Ito na. Yan. May tanong Sige. si Master Coach A. What message can you Ayan, give to someone si who is reluctant to respond to his or her calling? Thank you, Master Coach A. Uh, my message is that you will never be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So, if you will not be fulfilled, what is stopping you right now to pursue your calling? I mean, going, doing your calling and responding will give you so much peace in your heart. There will be so much joy and there will be grace to do it. So, what's stopping you? What's stopping you when, on the other hand, parati natin sinasabi yan eh, parati sinasabi to ni Master Coach Shay, you will be hurt anyway. <laughs> there will be pain anyway, di ba? So parati niya sinasabi mm -hmm. that there will always be two paths, no? Um, being stuck in the moment or not responding to, to a certain thing na nasa harap mo, mm -hmm. it will still give you pain. There is so much pain in being stuck. There is so much pain in being confused. Yes. Because when you will be stuck, you will also be confused. Ano ba talaga yung gusto mo? There is so mm. much pain in being lost. Because when you are confused, you will also feel totally lost. No? So... So, the question is, yeah, like, there's, if there's pain Coach, in, in, yes. in so, being stuck, and when you respond,
Coach Raj, let's just have see Coach Rizal. Yan, all around the way. Yan, ha? Oo. So, nag-chat talaga siya, no? Yes, oo. At nawala siya. Ayan, paayos natin. Ayan, at dahil dyan. So, ang ganda ng message ni Coach Rizal, no? She's speaking to the people who are who are reluctant to respond to their calling. Yes. So, because Coach and, Rizal, uh, no. <laughs> Yes. And when you talk about kasi ko, si Coach Rizal, she's really very passionate about the per, about uh, one's purpose and yep. calling talaga. Yan talaga yung heart niya. No? Yan yung heart niya. Kasi siya talaga yung unang-unang nag-respond nag doon sa, sa kanyang purpose and her mm -hmm. calling. That's why she is there as a OM and nasa support mm -hmm. sa tribe, lalong-lalo na kay Master Coach A. Ayan. So, while waiting for her, yan, tingnan natin kung yan, yan na yan. Masta. Ayan, so we're having some technical difficulties. So, hi coaches. So if there's anyone na mm. gusto din sumuin sa ating who of the hour, Coach Candy, may mga slot pa tayo available. Ano? Yes, oo. So, oh, oh. Especially for tomorrow. We connect to mm -hmm. Coach Candy. So we still intend to do this until tomorrow, until uh, madaling araw po. So just connect to Coach Candy and share mm -hmm. us. Kwentuhan niyo po kami. So, what is your situation? How are yes. you responding? And what is the outcome that you would want to see with uh, after all of this? Okay? So, mm -hmm. ayan. Coach Rizel. Balikan natin, ano, uh, Master Coach, habang inaatay natin si Coach Rizel, itong sinabi ni, ano, no? Sinabi Coach ni... Marifin. Yes, ang ganda niya. Fulfillment, fulfillment comes when you are able to do your calling. It gives peace, joy in the in spite of. Yan yung mga kahit na, no? Yes. Tama. Oo. Ayan. So, Ayan. Teka lang. Ayan. Mas malinaw. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Ayan. Yes. Ayan. Salutin mo na yung... Ayan. Good. Okay. Narinig mo kami, Coach. Ayan, okay, I'm back. You can hear us. So, if you flash lang natin ulit. Flash lang natin ulit yung question ni Master Coach A. Master Coach A. So, ayan, Coach Rizel. So, what message can you give to someone who is reluctant to respond to his or her calling? So, again, um, naiintindihan ko din naman yung feeling na nagiging reluctant ka, no? At some point. Kasi pinagdaanan ko din naman siya um, yun. So, going, after going through that journey, yung parati ko lang talagang tanong at uh, nakuha ko din to kay Master Coach A, if you will be in pain anyway in being yeah. stuck, uh, which leads to being confused, which eventually you will feel so lost, if there will be so much pain and there's so much price that you will be paying for that decision mm -hmm. why not choose the other way around because there is also the other path kasi two paths daw yung magko cross nun eh no pag hit mo ng crossroad yeah. kasi i think the the beauty of the crossroads is that it will um usher you to a to a point of patitigilin ka talaga niya it is meant to make you stuck so, hindi siya yung pagdating sa crossroad, hindi siya yung, supposedly ha, dapat yung picture, hindi siya yung parang um, sobrang naging uh, challenge sa'yo to the point that you will be paralyzed. Actually, parang sa tingin ko, yung sa, based on my experience, crossroads are really meant to make you stop. For you to be able to process, for you to be able to uh, warm up, no, what to do next. So, um, so yun nga yung isang path na yun of being stuck, being lost, being confused. Um, and then in the other path is responding to your calling. It's responding to your purpose or the reason of your existence or what your heart is saying to you for the longest time now na hindi mo naman siya pinapakinggan. 
So finally, you are in that crossroad. So the other path is responding to your calling, saying yes every moment, moment by moment. No, kasi yung papun yung habang gagawin mo siya, um, ano siya eh, moment by moment decision. So so if andun ka sa stage, no, wherein when you say yes to that very moment, meron kang ito provide na joy, merong ibibigay sa you na fulfillment. Then you will uh, feel the peace. Then there will be grace, no? Hindi siya perfect sa end mo, but since there is grace, there is like an inner strength that will allow mm. you to persevere one step at a time. So now, pili ka. My message is more of by the end of the day, it is your choice because it is your life. So, ang question ko lang is, what price are you willing to pay for that decision? Mm. Ah, galing, no? So, I remember pa nun, oh, Grace gives inner strength, tsaka yung what price are you willing to yes. pay? I remember parang nung few days ago, coach, ano, so you talk about it. Nag-live ka dyan, eh. Tama, coach? Para, oh, oh. Mm, yung price tag, oo. Oh, oh. Yung price tag, so. Oo. Oh, oh. Galing, so, coach. So, ayan. Coach, may tanong ako. What is the greatest lesson you learned from Master Coach A? Siyempre, di ba, ang dami-dami yung lessons na learned kay, <laughs> kay Master Coach A. Yeah. Pero ano yung pinaka? Yung pinaka. Ayan. Oo. Naalala mo ngayon. Mm-mm. That God is sovereign. That God is sovereign. Yeah, so ang so much I expand. So, that God is sovereign and that God is in control, and there are certain things that you might not understand right now, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, nakita yeah. ko sa kanya yung yung pagiging resilient niya as a leader. So as much as she's really tough, and she's really ano yung yung full of strength, no. Every time magrarali siya for a certain vision or yeah. a certain goal, um, mm-hmm. there is also full of compassion. Nakita ko rin yung paano siya. Uh, bumababa, paro niya hinahambol yung sarili niya. So, um, yung isang, yung isang pinaghuhugutan kasi niya that, you know, by the end of the day, God is sovereign, and God is in control, and God is like, um, is behind her all the time. So, there's so much freedom in her to act, to be full of strength, or to humble herself, or to be compassionate, or to be really passionate on something, yeah. or um, the discipline ka, or whatever that would be, no? Um, kasi there's so much uh, character kasi ni Master Coach A. There's so mm. much. And uh, hindi mo siya nakikita sa isang upuan, or even yes. for years now na... na um, sumusunod ako sa kanya or sometimes din hindi masyadong sumusunod. <laughs> you know, yung last of the things that I want. Oh, 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 oh. Ayaw ko namang magmagaling na, so, wow, sumusunod talaga 100%. So, alam nyo naman yan, no? Um, so, yung lahat ng yun, um, nagagawa niya kasi there is so much um, respect that she has with God uh, yeah. because of that very uh, truth that God is sovereign and God is in control. So she's never, I mean, she might be afraid, no? But when it comes to coming face to face with what she's called, wala eh, yung parabang, ano, um, na, hanggang ngayon, like years na, na, na expose ako paano siya nagmamanage at paano siya, paano niya ginagawa yung, yeah. yung mga decision niya, tapos paano niya execute Naano pa rin ako eh. For a like two time na parang uh, 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 gano'n. So sabi niyo sa akin, okay lang, Rizal. Okay lang, ganyan. Okay lang, okay lang. Kalma lang, ganyan. So kasi na, na si shaken pa rin talaga ako because there's so much faith in God mm-hmm. and there's so much respect to God and there's so much uh, love, no? Kaya, ano eh, na-execute niya ng may tapang, na execute yeah. niya ng may pagmamahal, na yes. execute niya ng may compassion. Kaya, yung mga tao, parang they get to the point of wondering talaga, no? So, paano? Parang, ha? Parang, paano siya nag-decision ng mga ganun? Yung mga stories nga niya, parang out of the, yung very radical talaga ng mga stories. Yeah. And she would even say na, um, 
yung naiintindihan din naman niya yung mga tao na parang dumarating sa point na uh, hindi na siya naiintindihan or dumarating talaga sa point na uh, nagigive up din at some point kasi nga by the end of the day she's here to respond to God and to do her calling and seeing that being a witness to that para talagang um sana mawistikan tayo di ba <laughs> sana ano <laughs> ano um, no? kahit gusto ko yon kahit wistik lang no Oo, oh, oh, yeah. oh, kung gusto naman ni God, or sabi nga niya parati, depende din naman yan sa'yo, it is actually your response in the process na maulanan ka talaga, no? na mabasa ka ng grasya ng Panginoon. Mm-hmm. You would, ano eh, you would really step up, you would yeah. really respond to the reason of your existence, to the very calling that you have, to your purpose, na you would, you would, sorry, nag lang ako kay, ano eh, kay Coach Tin, di ba, andito na sila, bigla-bigla. So, <laughs> Um, Ayan, no, yun no, yung no. ano yun yung um beauty uh, yung beauty um at the same time uh, challenging din naman kasi tao ka lang and and hindi din siya nagko-connect minsan eh yung puso mo at isip para pag tinitignan mo si Master Coach eh um ma-challenge ka din talaga and pero yun pero yun siya eh yun yung yun yung kagandahan ng journey mm-hmm. That God has allowed us, has given us the privilege to witness, to to be able to experience firsthand yung isang tao na punong-puno ng grasya ng Diyos because she was, I mean, she is deciding moment by moment to, only, to also respond in her calling. Kung baga, by the end of the day, like there's family, there's um, B-Cap, there's the tribe, Um, pero yung heart ni Master Coach A is really to respond to one person alone eh. And that is God. Yep. So, mm-hmm. um, it, it's, be- it's beautiful and it's at the same time challenging. Pero buti na lang. <laughs> buti na lang may, I mean, nadaanan kanya, no? Parang gano'n. <laughs> Buti yeah. na lang pagdaan yung sinabi niya sa'yo, do you want to join? Ganon, di ba? Then you said yes. Medyo, yeah. ha? And you said yes. Di ba? Medyo. Yes. Oo, di ba? So, so nung pag, pagdaan niya at nung, nung sinabi ng Diyos na ito, yung gawin mo at dumaan siya sa harap mo and then pinag-join ka niya, then when you said yes, um, because you also have your own story with God day, eh. you also have your story of of room to grow with your relationship with God. And you also have your own story of growing to your calling, to your purpose. So, in a way, sama-sama kayo um, serving God, sama-sama kayo bringing the light. Pero, uh, on the other hand, you are a story of your own. You are a story of your own. So, um, it's, it's, ano, um, it's, it's a miracle. It's, Coach A is a miracle, Master Coach A is a miracle, no? And at the same time, um, God is really alive through her life mm-hmm. because now you are starting to grow and you are growing strong. No, you yeah. are going strong in responding to your purpose, to your calling, even if it's challenging and even if there are uh, there is uh, fear most of the time. Um, but the fear of the Lord and the fear of not responding um, grows as well. So parang kung, kung medyo nag-grow yung fear mo, oh my gosh, nag-grow din yung fear of the Lord, no? Fear of not responding to, to your calling. Kasi alam mo yung ano nun eh, alam, yun nga, by the end of the day, it's still the price you are willing to pay. And yeah. seeing Master Coach A, um, how how she is responding as a mother, as a chairman, and as a Master Coach, um, it's just for one reason. It's really for her purpose and for the call that God has given her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ang galing ko. Yeah. So, ang ganda yung mga, ko- mga message ni Coach Marife. So, sabi niya kan dito is, God's message comes to us when we are ready. Tama, no? So, when we are not yet ready, hindi ka rin naman talaga makapag-respond. Ito siya pag hindi tayo ready. Yeah. When we're not yan. ready. So, great things doesn't make sense. O, di ba? Oo. 
magka-connect. So kahit gaano kaganda na yung nangyayari at mangyayari pa. So when 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 we are not yet ready doon sa message ni God. So everything will not make sense, right? Mm-hmm. So meron coach Kendi. Yeah, meron pa coach Kendi basahin mo oh, oh. um, how has your relationship um, transformed with Master Coach A from day one until now? Um, the beauty of grace kasi dati kasi medyo ano pa eh, may pagka um, ngayon ko lang to na-realize, di ba? Kasi ngayon lang nag-on ko, nag, uh, yun, yung, uh, yung part talaga ng life coaching is really understanding um, how you are responding. So dati kasi meron ka pang ano eh, para bang um, wala ka namang masyadong nagagawang something na masaktan talaga siya. Yung ganun. <laughs> yung wala ka namang ginawa para talaga uh, to bring her to the point of uh, being in pain as a leader. Yeah. No, kasi, oh, wala eh, wala ding ganun talaga na naalala ko, not until yung nangyari nga recently, na you would, para bang, yung, yung, well, yung, yung grace na may extend mo, no, doon sa tao na nakasakit sa'yo, becomes a reality in my end, no, Kasi yung, yung pag-evolve nun is how I am saying um, yung grace na ine-extend niya. Just because she knows you have a calling to fulfill. Yung bang ganun din, yung humility na yun in her end. No, kasi a leader can, I mean a leader by by itself is already uh, is already powerful. No? Yung bang authority mm-hmm. niya, by default, um, that's power na eh. And she can do uh, whatever she wants, no? Whatever she decides to do at that very moment. But then, every time she is being challenged as a leader, she would like still choose to give grace, to give grace. chance. Um, so, dun siya nag-evolve na, na seeing, I mean, with my relationship with God, and how she's extending that grace to me for me to be able to continue and mm-hmm. and learn no learn yun yung pinaka importante learn and grow for that for her to give me that opportunity still and for that space yeah. to learn to grow and respond better and grow para tinitong sinasabi um yung progress progression of species no parang kumbaga yeah. Kung ito na yung mali mo, parang, uh, I mean, kung ito na yung mali mo, the next time when you are being challenged, umangat ka naman. Yung kumbaga, um, may progression naman doon sa mga responses mm-hmm. mo. And, and with that kind of support, with that kind of uh, hand that she's been extending to me, yes. um, prayerfully, I could really make it there, no? <laughs> I could really make it to that level. Yes, that of course. Yes, of yes, course. Of course. Of course. Oh, so, oh, oh. Oh, through that, mm-hmm. through that grace, um, prayerfully and with all humility. No, sinasabi ko naman yan parati kay Coach Candy. No, parang this is like you, and everything else is grace. No, grace. <laughs> parang ikaw to. Kung ito yung space, ikaw yung full dog. Lat non grace na. So, uh, true, so true. yung pag-respond mo, yung, yung, yung pag-realize mo din sa mga mali mo, and then um, yung pag-respond mo in the process, that prayerfully, yung mga responses mo, and then the grace of God assuring you there, you could really get to that level where one where God wants you to be, and God wants you to become. So, mm-hmm. I cannot wait at the same time to see that. Yung prayer ko nga lang kay God din na, hi, yung chance na binigay, yung grace na binigay, um, tulungan mo ako na magamit ko in such a way that I would be, I would improve as a person so that I can be able to also rally other people that not because you're given too many chances, you are also being lax, but chances are being given 
for you to be able to learn, improve, and get to where you should be. Kasi may level na tinitignan eh. Kaya nga siya journey, kasi may tinitignan yeah. si God, or may tinitignan yung, I mean, may tinitignan si God kung saan ka dapat makakarating. And there will be hindrances, because life is not perfect, you're not perfect as well. But but grace is given to give you that the chance, or to give you that that moment to continue. Yet, to continue moving forward and to continue with one objective or one goal, which is to get to where you should be. Yeah. So, wow. Very passionate talaga to si Coach Rosella. So, ano, kapag ka talagang binuksan mo yung, <laughs> yung topic na ito, ayan, about obedience, purpose, and calling, she can, she can talk to you a lot of things, di ba? Pero, Coach Rosella, as we end this um, interview, um, Pagkatapos ng lahat ng ito, so what outcome, one, one outcome that you would like to see after all of this um, yes. situation? I am excited to see my heart being bold in really rallying people to respond now, if yeah. not tomorrow. Like, I am excited to see my heart grow passionate. Mm. Um passionate in such a way na ma-deliver ko yung message mm. as clear that hearts would receive and not repel, that hearts nice. would open up, that hearts would really begin to heal, to accept who they are, the mistakes they have made, and finally just standing tall again to the very reason of why they are here in the first place or why they are mm. there in the space that they are in right now. So I am excited to see my heart burn in fire, in passion, to, to declare no, and to rally people. The time is now. The time is now to respond to your purpose. The time is now to respond to what your heart has been calling you to respond to. That the time is now to finally free your heart in saying yes to yourself. Um, there will always be fear and there will always be challenges and there will always be self-limiting beliefs, but it's okay. It will always be part of the process, but always remember you have a reason why you are here on earth and you have a reason mm -hmm. why you are planted or where there, where you are right now. So uh -uh. breathe, <laughs> just breathe and start breathe. to live your design. Yeah, breathe and start to live your very design. It's mm. okay. Yeah. I mean, if you have committed too many mistakes, it's okay. It's always part of the process. But part of the process as well is standing again, standing. being courageous. You will never be yeah. alone. We are here. For goodness sake, we are here. Like mm -hmm. in the midst of COVID-19, I mean, we are here rallying you people, rallying you fellow coaches. We are here for goodness sake. Respond to your calling. Respond yeah. to the very design why you are here in the first place. You will never live in that kind of fulfillment anyway. So what is your choice? In the first place, you don't have any choice. When you want to live a life that is fulfilled and when you want to live a life that is in peace and joyful, then respond now to the very reason why you are there and what is the reason of your existence. So I think that would be it, Coach. Coach, after COVID-19, is that really rallying people to tell their, parang sinabi nung screen kanina, to tell your story, to yes. tell your story because your story is a hope to someone else. So this is your time mm. to find. Yeah, galing coach. So grabe ya, no? So um, this is Coach Rizel that we are hearing right now. OM Rizel na napapakinggan po natin. So she's really very passionate and mm. I think really feel her heart right now that she's been she is rallying for all the change agent to really respond right now respond yes. to the calling respond to your purpose as a change agent and so yeah. perfect time to respond right now it is now Tama, Coach no. Rizel. So, with that, ayun, batiin lang natin si Coach Lorene who is watching sabi niya go yes ayan so mm -hmm. So, I think, Coach Giselle, so it's time now to magpasabog tayo ng 
na instead of the virus, but spread that Ay, love. Magtatanong pala ako. Magtatanong pala, okay. Oo, di ba pa, paano ko eh. Coach Rizal, um, what would you like to declare to our viewers right now and to our fellow coaches? Oo. Oh, oh. What, oh, ano, yan? Um, Prayer or ano, declaration, ganyan. Yes, so I would just like to take this uh, moment to declare and and as we humble ourselves to God, as we take that right, rightful um, uh, position of, of humility, mm. knowing that there is a God who design everything in this earth knowing that he is sovereign and he is in full control of whatever is happening right now yeah. full control with covid-19 um full control over the lives of every everyone here on earth my declaration is that um healing of hearts healing of hearts that are too broken not to respond to the very purpose of their lives. Declaring that God will start uh, breathing right now. Um, dry bones, dry hearts. Yeah. Hearts that are weary and tired. Hearts that are disappointed. Hearts that are frustrated. Declaring healing right now. In the name of Jesus, declaring that that oh. it will breathe again, it will come to life again, and that as healing flows right now to each and every heart who are listening right now and who will be listening to this message, heart, just breathe. It's okay. I mean, you've been through tough times and tough battles, and it's always part of the process. But in the name of Jesus, I declare healing Amen. and that's, yes. that Amen. you that life will flow right now that when that life will flow in your heart then you can start responding to the very calling that you have or to the very purpose that you have yeah yeah ganda. Very, very powerful coach yes. so yes we declare that healing yung divine reversal cure mm -hmm. For um cure for COVID nineteen and healing for those who has be already have been infected and healing for our nation as well mm -hmm. and the world. Yes. Okay. So and the and one of the best thing that can also heal and give cure sa lahat ng mga nararamdaman oh. natin. Oh. Lang iba kung hindi yung love virus. So, Coach Rizel, are you ready to spread love? love? Yes. Ready? 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 Bum. So at the count of three, one, two, three, love, 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 bamboo. bamboo. So thank you, <laughs> thank coach. You. Bye. Thank you, coach. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Bye, bye.